So this video looks at how to make a cover design, but this time we're using the program Publisher. So you need to start this by going to the Start menu and then you're going to type in Publisher or find your program there. And what's going to open up is this selection here and you've got some templates. So that's what we're going to explore in this video using the section that's called Quick Publications. So it's the built-in part um, of your publisher program and then when you click on Quick Publications you'll get this come up here. So these are all the different publications that they offer. And it's really good because you don't need to stick to any of these colours or any of these fonts. You've got a lot of chance to change them but it's a lot easier to work with than if you were trying to do this in Word. So I'm having a look and I really like a floral design and I'm going to have a look at all the features and see if there's anything here that I want to change. But ultimately I think I'm kind of pretty happy with this layout for my cover so I'm going to click create and then it's going to load up and this is my cover page here. So first off I'm going to type in what the name of the report is and you'll see that as I'm typing it in it's just automatically making the words fit the space in the box so that's really handy and then underneath I'm going to type in my name the student the course I'm doing who my lecturer is and when my reports being handed in so just the usual details that you would put into any report and then just like if you were working in Word you can highlight any of this text and you can alter it so you can change what the font is you can change what the size is so you would just do that by highlighting it and then going up to the top left hand side of the page there in the usual section and you can pick a different font or a different effect that's going to suit your particular report. You can make things bold, you can add a colour um, to your text, so with all of these things you can just personalise it a bit more. The other thing that's really important is to put in a picture. Um, so we can do that either, you can click on the picture icon and if you're attached to the internet you would go online or if you've got a picture already saved in your computer like I have then it's just insert and picture and then open that there and it's going to come in here and you can reposition it so I'm just moving mine a little bit further down uh, but you could make that smaller, you could crop it and have two next to each other, whatever would suit you. Um, so once I've got my picture and I'm kind of happy with that, I might want to play about with the effects a bit. So if I click on it and I go up to picture tools at the top, I get this whole selection of different effects here that I can do. And I can click the drop down and get a whole big choice. And the one I usually choose is this one with the blur around the edges because I think it just softens it, stops it being too hard a line. So I quite like that. Um, there's lots of other editing and stuff like that that you can kind of play around with. Um, so these little flowers, I'm just picking them up and moving them out from behind the box a little bit. So again, these bits of the template can be kind of changed and moved about a little bit. So if there's something that you're not totally keen on, have a go at moving it and chances are you'll be able to. The other thing you can do if you go up to design is really play about with this colour scheme. So I'm feeling it's kind of a bit too yellow, I want something that's more reddy and pinky, this sort of bridal theme. So you've got this huge collection of all these different colours. I'm going to click on it and straight away you see it's changed all of the leaves, it's changed the writing, changed the background. So really instantly it's given me a lot of difference. The other thing you can do as well is to edit this central box here. So you could right click on that as I've done, gone up to the table properties and changed its background, taken off the line around the outside and then I'm also going to change its background colour um, as well. So a lot of these features you see are not locked down. You can kind of alter them and personalise your page however you feel you want. Once you're completely happy with the page, then we're really coming to the next stage of being able to save that. Um, so to do that, we want to go up to File and Save As, just like usual, on your computer, browse, find your drive, wherever you're saving your work. Um, but crucially, um, we are not going to save it as a publisher file. We're going to need to change that section and we're going to need to scroll down here and choose a JPEG. So we need to have this as a picture so that we can put it in to our front page of our Word. So it's saved as a JPEG as a picture. And then if we just go into the Start menu, into Word, just like usual, a blank page. And I'm going to open that up so you can see it fully. And then I'm going to just click Insert and Picture. And I'll need to look back on my computer where I saved that JPEG of that publisher picture. So there it is in the middle, 
I'm going to click on that and now it's coming completely as a picture. You won't be able to move it right now, um, so if you want to pick it up and move it, put it to the edges, you'll need to right click on it and go down to text wrapping and behind text because remember Word thinks this is one giant photo so then you can lift it up and expand it out you will not be able to change it now that's been locked down so if you've spelt your name wrong or something you'll need to go back to publisher and make that amendment before you can put it back in again